Hey everyone, welcome back to Walt and Sarah's channel. Today we are going to follow up from the storage unit that we purchased yesterday and really go into depth of the jewelry that we found. As you can see, there are a lot of pieces. There's even a jewelry box here. Um, it was just too much to do it in the unit. Uh, Walt suggested, he's like, why don't we just do this at home because we can really get into detail, look at the pieces close up and not miss anything or risk dropping it and rushing. So here we go. This is part two to our storage unit and let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get into this. We're going to start off with this pouch here. It feels very light. And we have one little earring. I am 90% sure that we had the other match yesterday. It's not in that bag, but I'm going to throw this into the costume pile. There are no markings on it. Um, let's get into this. Chunky mama hair. Ready? All right. So we have stud buds. Oh my God, it's so cute. Nickel free little earrings, $5.99. This is bent here. That's alarming. All right, next set of earrings here, brand new looking. Really nice, really pretty. Look like uh, dream catchers. So cool, very nice. Um, it does say right on here, fashion earrings. So I'm going to put them in my costume pile. And then we have this, another brand new piece, not even opened yet. You can tell, oh, what's it say? Made with recycled materials. Nice, a lot of people love that green, so. That's awesome. Very beautiful butterfly. Put that in our costume pile. It's nice that this isn't even open yet. And we have some earring backings. I'm gonna set them off to this side. A bookmark. Oh, two grace from Hannah. Oh, well, I don't know anybody named Grace, but I do know Hannah. Um, looks like um, just like a quality care card. Uh, I guess this goes with this. Hopefully we find the piece and we can include that in there. Oh no, come on now. Oh, I really like to show you guys. There we go, okay. So it looks like that. Okay, sorry about that. You know, the kid's in the background yelling. Uh, she's on a virtual learning today, so she's going, bye. So sorry if you heard that, she's just being a kid. So $18, we have 18K on surgical steel. Okay, okay, I'm not really sure what that means, but that's pretty cool. 2016, very nice. So I'm just gonna set them off to the side. I'm not really sure where they belong in our uh, little classification there. This is super light. I thought it was a pocket watch when I saw it, but you can tell because it's so light that I'm gonna call it a mint carrier, right? We can put our little mints in there. It's super, super lightweight. Uh, a little bit of tarnishing on there. A little bit of um, markings. Not much to it. So we got that. I'm going to throw it in our costume pile as well. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is a pin. This is really nice. Really pretty. It's like a paper material. This is cool. I will put this in a, I don't have a pin pile. I'm just going to set it off to the side and I'll just know to keep them together. I'll show you our piles at the end. Ooh, look at that. All right. Got like a turquoise thing in there. Come on, focus. Oh, it's like a weird material. Okay, guys, I got to bring it up to my eyes to read it. Let's see if there's any markings. No markings on the inside. Magnet test. <laughs> okay, whatever it is, it's not magnetic. Um, I'm probably going to end up embarrassing myself because I don't know that much about jewelry. That's one thing we do try to be very honest. We don't know that much about jewelry, but we love to learn. And every time we go up to the, like, the stores, they, you know, educate us and we love it. This is kind of weird. Uh, Hand painted little thing. It's starting to fade. This is so weird. It has like a ceramic type of feel to it. Not sure why they would have it in their jewelry unless it's to hold rings, maybe. You can just throw like little pieces of earrings in there. It's cute. Nice little dish. I'm gonna set it off to our right side because it does not classify as gold or silver. Ooh, okay, so we got these little loose ends here. This is trash. 
right, let's do the magnet test on these. This is a very low strength magnet, very, very low. We pick, we're not picking these up, so that's a good sign. But who knows? Got to bring them up to the eyeballs. Uh, I don't know if they're gold or not because they are not marked at all, of course. They look a little light. So I'm not sure. I'm going to put them in this box so I don't lose them. Oh, oh, that's the actual lid. I don't know where I'm going to put them, guys. I guess I'll put them in this little dish over here. I'll have to reevaluate that at a later time. All right, so this one we already saw has a few things in it. It's very cool. Wow, look at that. That's really pretty, guys. That's so pretty. Uh, let's see. No markings on this chain. No markings on this. But that doesn't mean it's not worth anything, right? So we were also discussing whether or not... I'm going to put it in the costume pile just for now, just to have it put somewhere oh wow look at this like jade ring wow all right i'm gonna put this in the costume aisle anyway um or pile not aisle so we were kind of discussing what is better is it better to sell jewelry as a full piece like it say this is gold would you sell it as a whole necklace or is it better to just get the quick money and pulling it in i'm gonna bring it up to my eyes guys let me see if there's any markings on here I don't see anything. Here, let's do the magnet test on this one. Let's see. This is like, oh yeah, there's definitely a pull to this. Which I was told, just because there's a pull does not mean that it's real or not real. Um, can't really go by that. Yeah, there's definitely a, a good pull in that one. But unfortunately, there's no markings, which makes it even harder. So I'm just going to throw this in costume pile for now, just for the sake of organizing. Okay, this is a really neat design. Let's see if I can untangle these. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to do this. Uh, how long you guys want this video to be? Because I could be here all day untangling necklaces. Uh, I thought I had it. Uh. Alright, so yeah, I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. Your time is precious. Look at this. It's like a pink. I know it's like reflective on your end. Almost looks reminds me of like Universal Studios maybe. No markings on it. Super unfortunate. It's just like a globe. Almost has like a disc feature to it. But it's just pink and shiny. Um, no markings on the chain. And then this one is attached. <laughs> like Stonehenge looking guy here. Pretty cool. I have no idea what this material is either. Uh, there's a little bit of a magnetic pull to it. Again, this is a very low strength magnet. I just pulled this one off my fridge. We do have a bigger one. Walt and I can go through together. I'm not going to do that without him. This video is just for you guys. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get any pull on our little things here. I don't think this magnet's even going to work for us because it's not pulling anything. No, this magnet's useless. Okay, so we can't even go by that. But we have a little bit. I, I could guess and say that these are going to be costumes. I'm going to put the loose earrings over in that dish that we found. We have a pretty pink pin. I think it's intentionally loose. Very nice. I'm going to put that in our pin aisle. Pile. Why do I keep saying aisle? Oh my goodness. I think I want to go shopping. I'm going to put that in the aisle. Uh, put that in our pin pile. This is neat because it has where it almost looks like it could have been a necklace or a pin. But as it stands right now, it is a pin. So it's going in the pin pile. Let me get my speech together. And we got more of this like, what is it? Is this turquoise? I don't know. My grandma used to have a whole bunch of rings just like this big ones too. This was very popular, I guess what 80s or so uh, earlier let's see there is some kind of marking in there but it looks more like a branding and it does say sterling so deep inside of there oh you guys might actually be able to see it it says sterling so that's neat i'm just going to set it next to our silver pile even though it doesn't technically belong in there uh, let's see. 
this I would have guessed is real. But I don't see any markings. So I could be terribly, terribly wrong because it's so small. It has the right color. And there's a little cute diamond in there, but there's no markings on it. Mark your jewelry, guys. So people like me can figure this out. So here's this, but we're missing <laughs> we're missing the other piece to it. I'm gonna put them in the little dish that we found, the hand painted dish. This box is now empty, setting it off to the side. I'm gonna start a trash bag. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna set this in the dish as well because it's so small, I don't want to lose it. Oh, nice. Here's a full um, color one for pink breast cancer awareness. Our daughter collects pins, so she will be so appreciative to have that. All right, we got two watches here. Let's do a two for one. Hold on. There we go. So we have another two more Timexes. All right, so that's a total of three Timexes, right? Or no, he did not. I don't know if he threw the one in there from yesterday. So right now we have two, two Timexes. Pretty cool. Let's start a watch pile up there. Let's see what this is. This catch my eye. What's in here? Hmm, okay. It's like a long necklace here. See if there's any markings. We do have a marking. Korea. Let's see if I can show you guys. Let's see, get in there. And then we got a Korea marking. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that knows exactly what that means. Oh, if it's made in Korea, then it's made out of this and this year. And this, blah, blah. I wish I had the knowledge that some of these people have about this stuff. We have some $2 earrings. I'm just going to throw them in the costume pile. Pierced earrings. Okay. So it doesn't tell us what they are. Brand, nothing. Put in the costume pile for now. Let's open this one up and see what's in here. Ooh. Cool little bead piece here. Really cool. They have like long... You know, I... We used to make like paper beads and that's exactly what this reminds me of like the paper but this definitely is nicer than the ones we made as little kids because there's some kind of like coating on there Let's see how close up i can get it for you guys pretty neat i am going to put this in the costume pile and we have this awesome little chain here any markings? No markings. Let's see if our little baby magnet will pull on it. Hey, it pulls. <laughs> oh. All right, I will throw that in the costume pile as well. A pile is loading up. Just like our surfer dude, surfer girl necklace. No stretch to it. Pretty interesting piece here. Guys, what is this made out of? What, what is this? Is this plastic? Are they rocks? What is this? It's pretty heavy. I mean, it's not light by any means. Let me know in the comments. And we'll throw it in our costume pile. I love these so much. We find them in estate sales all the time. All right. So we got two different sizes here. Ooh. This one was $18.95 at one time. This. This is what makes it interesting is this class right here. That is so cool. It's so different than what we have now. Push it in there, make it look nicer. These are smaller. I would definitely say kid size or a choker, depending on your style. This is a smaller one. And then we have this one bigger. Oh, look, and 13. So it was 18, but they marked it down to 13. Okay. And then we have these. See the clasp on that smaller pearls oh wow these are actually inconsistent so they have some like let's see perfectly round and you got some longer ones bigger ones smaller ones pretty cool i love the look of pearls i just don't know how to tell if they're real or not real um, I tried looking it up before and I failed miserably. I think I need to start a pearl pile because 
I know there's a few in there that we saw yesterday. Alright, here we go. Next box. Moving right along. Ha! Backwards. Mmm, look how pretty this is. It says 18k uh, gold over sterling silver. Oh, interesting. Got a little bit of markings in there. Let's see if you guys can see it with me. Made in China. 925. So that would be considered silver. I don't want to take it out of the box and keep it nice and pretty. So I'm going to put it in our silver pile as is. Next. Oh, yeah. This keychain actually walked down this yesterday and showed us. There's like a hummingbird in there. Hopefully you guys can see it because it's really pretty. There you go. Really, really cool. I know these were like super popular back in the day and they're very expensive. We used to get them at the mall. They would have like a kiosk. So I'm just going to set that off to the side because it's not really jewelry jewelry. All right. After this box, we're going into the jewelry box. I just can't wait any longer. This stuff looks special. Alright, let's start with this. Open. Uh, we did see these. We showed you guys this on camera yesterday. It says Swank S O and Cufflinks with J on there. Um, this one. Not sure what that symbol is. Kind of deteriorated. Um, there's another one. Just the line. All right, so then like little couplings there. The J. Going to set them with our keychain. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So <laughs> this is kind of funny. Got some bears on there. This is neat. Wood three fifty. Handcraft. Neat. Okay, put that off to the side. Sorry guys, we're here for jewelry. Oh, I don't know anything about pocket watches at all. I have to look these up. I guess I should start a uh, pocket watch spot because I know there's a lot. This one's really heavy. Uh, Chantel quartz. Really awesome looking. Really cool. You see the train detail in there. Swiss made. This is the stuff that I will look up on eBay because. I'm not familiar with it. I'm not going to even pretend like I know. I don't want to sell myself short. Does this not go on here, guys? I'm going to break it. Okay, I'm going to put that away before I damage it. I'm going to put everything back where I found it in here. And set it off to this side. Okay, as promised. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to show you both the jewelry box and the contents at the same exact time. And let's see. Let's start at the top first since you guys can't see that. Whoa. Whoa, that was heavy. Bum, bum, bum. I know we did kind of blow through this yesterday. All right. What is this? Hancock House, which is actually located. This is Quentin Skirmish. 1778, 1978. Pretty neat. So this is actually located at a town that I used to live right next to. Really cool to have all that history. The house I lived in was a super old colonial house and it was awesome. Very small, but it was awesome. Um, $16 for these. I'm going to go ahead and throw them in the costume pile. We have another one. Is this the same one? Yep. Another Hancock house one. Not sure what this is made of. It's Got a little bit of weight to it, but it doesn't feel like it's anything of real value. So I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Oh, actually, wait. Hmm. Sounds good. And we have this. We did say we definitely need to look this up. I have no idea why it's colored there. We got like an old um, piece right there don't want to break it. It does look like it could break very easily. Let's just dump this. Let's stop acting like we have manners and let's just dump this. Okay. And, oh, tangling. Oh, oh boy. All right. No markings on the chain. It's 
feels like a rock and it feels like it was maybe hand painted. Like some kind of stone. Man, I think people come up with is amazing. Actually, I if it's costume, uh, no, let me just stick to my guns here. I'm gonna put that back in the costume pile. There's no markings on the chain. We have another coin here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, half dollar. Put that with our Hancock House coins. Let's see, what can I grab out without having to untangle for 40 minutes? Uh, oh, it's so unfortunate. Wow, look how shiny this is. Wow, that's so cool. No markings. No markings. I mean, I'm going to guess by the brightness of this chain and the weight that it is a costume jewelry. We could not get that lucky to have a solid gold chain, right? That weighed this much. <sighs> Everything is tangled, guys. This is so crappy. Good morning, Nail. All right, hold on, guys. Let me try to untangle some of this. Okay, I am completely defeated. I cannot get the, this one and this one untangled. I got a lot of it undone, but they are clearly both um, costume jewelry. Instead of spending my entire day trying to untangle them, um, I'm going to set them in our costume jewelry pile and keep moving. But I did tangle, untangle some of the other ones, so that's a plus. Okay, so we have this one here. Let's see if there's any marking. No marking. I really thought maybe the chain would have been real. It's not ruled out yet until we can... Okay, so it's definitely ruled out. There is no doubt about that one. Ooh, okay, so we're going to throw that in our costume pile as well. And there's a really cool one over here. Look at that. That is so neat. And it is, again, very clearly uh, costume. No markings. Let's see. I want to find some that has some markings so we can, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Where is a slight, slight pull? Again, I was told, don't ever just go by that alone. Um, but there's nothing listed on here saying that it is silver. Unfortunately, right now, I'm just going to throw it in the costume pile. That is the biggest pile over there. I will show you the piles at the end. Look at this a little pearl in the center. Let's see. Any markings on you? No, because there's no place to put a marking. Nothing on the back here. This is really neat because it has like that 3D bubble from where that is in there. It's a shame. I hate to put it under costume because... Well, I guess it belongs there, so <laughs> let's just throw that in there. Hopefully they don't get all tangled. Ah, I can't even hold on to it. And then we have this little pin type thing. I know, don't yell at me. I know it's definitely not just a pin. Voila! Beautiful snowflake. Beautiful. And it has like this screw in clasp. There we go. No mark. Oh, that's so weird. Look, there's like two different styles of attaching it. Really weird. Different, different, I should say. There we go. More costume. There is an, a lady who goes yard sale to yard sale around here. And she's always asking, Do you guys have any jewelry? Do you have any jewelry? And we usually get rid of it pretty fast. These are like bells. Pretty cool. Because um, I hate having things laying around, especially jewelry. Um, for obvious reasons. So this time, when she shows up, if she shows up, when we have our next yard sale, um, we'll have lots to show her. And she will be excited. Because I've never actually gotten to share anything with her. Because it's usually gone by the time we do yard sales. Alright, so this... Is not pulling at all. The only thing that confuses me is there's nothing etched on there. 
I just didn't realize I was down so low. There's nothing etched. It's very light. I'm going to throw it in the gold pile. I could be really wrong. That's okay. I'm human. Believe it or not. So. Come on, pool. <laughs> this is another one. Nothing etched on there. But it is just like a little gold chain. Okay, I definitely did get a pull on that one. I'm going to throw it in the costume pile. Look at this, guys. Wow. That's so weird because it's the top layer is glass. I don't know if you can see that now. See the little flamingos are in there, in there, like down here. So on this side, it looks like you could touch it and it would be rigid, but it's not smooth. It's like a glass. Wow, where would you even get something like this from? Wow, look at the... Look at that. <laughs> this is Germany. Ooh, look at that. I've only seen this on bracelets. I don't think I've ever seen this style on a necklace chain. That's really cool. That's really neat. I'm going to put this... You know what? I'm actually going to set this off to the side because I want to look this up. So I don't want to just throw it in the costume pile and forget about it. I actually want to look that up because that's a really cool piece. All right, no markings on this so far. This one is so long. This is in half. Shoot, it doesn't even fit on the screen. All right, no pull here. No, there is one. Yeah, there's a little bit of a pull. Let's just throw it in costume. It seems like it's too big to be silver, but I don't want to say that we have more than we do. I'd rather sell ourselves short. Rather than sit here and be like, oh yeah, look at all this gold and all this silver we found. No, a lot of it's costume. As you can tell, that's going to be costume. I don't even need to look. So we have that stuff to look up at the later date. What's this? Let's see. Oh, we have something with a marking. Monet? Monet? Has the circles on there. Oh, come on. Focus. No, it's not going to focus for you guys. Sorry. Over here. So we have that circle marking. I've had these before. I want to say they're gold plated, but I could be wrong. All right, let's get, let's get better focus in here. All right. So I try to do like a quick Google search, but it's just too much to read and get into. Let me know what you think about this Monet necklace. All I really could find right now was that it was saying that it's a high end type of jewelry, vintage jewelry. And, um, there's tips on how to tell if it's fake or not. Obviously, this one's going to be a real Monet because why would the lady have a fake one? Come on now. I'm going to stick it in the gold pile, even though it's probably gold plated. It's okay. It still counts, right? We're going to go with it. All right. So moving on, we have another chain here unlabeled. Wow, this is really cool. Look, it's twisted gold and silver. Really stinking cool here. Next. This little circle emblem here. Oh man, the camera was focusing and now it's not. Look, my fingers are starting to get all gross <laughs> from going through this. Um, no markings on here. The autofocus is giving up on me. Okay, I'll put that in costume. It's definitely going to be a costume piece here. This is just too heavy and too big to be anything real. <laughs> Could you imagine? All right, what is this piece? This is very interesting. I thought I had it all tangled. I guess not, untangled. I don't want to tangle it. All right, so something like this. You guys get the gist. Here you go, it's gonna be like a hanging piece. Uh, let's see what's on here. Is that Emons, Emmons? I'm not sure. I'm going to put it over here so I can look up that brand because I've never heard of it. Don't have any experience with it. So let's set it off to the side so I can actually look up the necklace as a full piece. 
this one stressed me out so bad trying to untangle. I thought it was like three necklaces, but they're all attached. Very, very long. Ooh. And of course there's no markings and it goes into our costume pile. Second floor of the jewelry box. Ugh, and I can't even open it. Could that be a good sign? Whoa, pin central. Hooey. All right, let's do this. Oh, look. And there's like, are these considered scarf pens? I've heard different things. Oh, this lady. We have a whole bunch of stuff with this lady's name on it. I don't want to butcher it, so I'm not going to say it. Another pin here. And I'm looking for markings. I'm looking for names. Um, not seeing anything. I found a mushroom. A nice little homemade looking pin here. Cool little flower one. Oh, guys. Oh, that's so cool. I don't think it's supposed to spin. I think it's um, older and needs repair or something, but it's pretty cool. Wow, look at this one. Oh, so pretty. No markings. Surprise, surprise. No markings. This one's really pretty purple. Wow, look at this one. All right, cool. Wow, look at the detail in this one. Oh, I gotta throw that one down for a second. This one is so shiny and so pretty. Oh, and there's a marking on there. Pewter. Wow, look at the glue job on that one. Oh, it's like homemade. That's so sweet. Nice little gold flower here. No markings. This is an earring. You don't belong in here. We got a couple earrings. A couple of 80s Barbies earrings here. Let's put these all together. Another pin I'm going to set off to the side. I'm going to put these in our costume pile. Uh, we got some four leaf clovers on this one. We have, this one looks really old. Not seeing any markings, but it does look super, super old. I'm going to just set it off in our pin pile. This one has some kind of very small marking over there. I'm going to set it in a pile of stuff I actually want to look up and Google right away. We have some earrings, some costume earrings. They look like they're homemade. Really neat. Oh man, this one feels kind of old. Maybe not, I could be way wrong. This one is very small, very cute, very dainty. Same with this. Oh my gosh, look at the little pin. Oh, what an angel. Two of them. Wow, look at this frog, guys. Look how small the attachment part is. <gasps> look at our froggy. Neat. Wow. Oh, I dropped something. Look at that, guys. Um, 90% sure it's going to be hand painted. Look at it. It's even got like a signature in there. I'm going to have to look that one up too. I'm going to put that in my Google pile. Look at all the details on this. Oh, unfortunately, I got a little bit of glue. Wow. And a bird. Red Robin. Alright. Another little hand painted one. Beautiful Christmas tree. Losing some of its paint, but that just shows its character. And then we have another circle one here. Really nice shape. I think we have one just like this. It was a different brand. We thought it was going to be worth some decent money, but it wasn't. I'll have to compare it to the one we have. This one's really nice. And we have another birdie here. There is a marking 87. So we got, ugh, you guys can't see it, but it does say 87 on there. 
and all this history. Wow, look at that. That's so clever. That is a paper clip. And this is like glass and flower. Oh, Walt's going to love that. He's going to think that's like the coolest thing ever. This one is made out of wood. It's a wood pin. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. I don't even know what you would put this on. You can't give this to a baby. It's too small. See, there is a marking. I'm going to have to bring it up way close to my eyebrows. Hold on. Ooh, we have a 10K item. <laughs> Yay. All right, so we can put that in our gold pile. And I believe that is the only thing confirmed gold right now. Uh, let's see this backing. This actually says 14 on it. Oh, so I'm going to put that in our gold pile too, even though it's so tiny. It counts. Any little bit helps, right? Ah, I am dropping everything. Everything's getting smaller on me. I'm just going to put that in our pin pile. And, oh my goodness, stop jumping out of my hand. I love USA. Okay. Let's clean this off a little bit. I got to pull out the lint roller in a couple minutes because I keep dumping these trays. Oh no, guys. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about going through every little piece here. Hooey! All right, let's pick out some of the bigger things. So, this lady, definitely Irish. She's got lots of Irish stuff. Yeah, you know, heritage wise, at least. It's very tarnished. I would say costume if I had to guess. Nice little earrings. Let's see, we can find anything marked. No. Got a penny in there heart. I thought it was maybe a locket, but it's not. Oh, I stabbed myself. I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> Alright, let me just look close for a marking on these. Okay, nothing on there. Alright, so here you go, guys. I don't want to dump this. I don't want to go through piece by piece on this one. Um... It doesn't look like anything is really crazy in here. Got a little clip on earring to match the pin that's down there. A couple of them I see kind of match the pins that we found. Uh, what is this? Hospital volunteer pin. Oh, teenage hospital. Wow. Really neat. All right, so here you go, guys. I'm just going to let you take a peek at that. Don't want to lose you guys. I don't want you to get too bored while I'm picking out each little thing, but I don't want to rush through it at the same time. So bear with me. We're going to meet in the middle. I'm going to shut this drawer back in there and grab a lint roller and clean up and then we'll be right back. All right, here we go. We're back at it. Grabbing out a box here. Oh, I thought I was going to have a latch. Okay, let's just pick them out. So sometimes... These little bangles will have little markings, and they're worth a pretty penny. But these are not those bangles. Oh, so we have some here. Another pin. <laughs> That's a funny one. Ooh, it's like a velvety. Oh, no, it's not. It had like a velvet <laughs> look to it. Ah, no. Okay, so that's really cool. It's super old looking. I'm still going to stick it in costume because it's not silver or gold directly. Look at this pin. Fashion pin is so discolored, but it just speaks volumes on the age. Aww. And let's see if we have any markings in here. No, no markings on that. So it's going to go in our costume pile. Woo! So see how you can get people, you know, we like, look, we found all this jewelry, blah, blah, blah. When you go piece by piece, a lot of it looks like it's real gold, but it's really not. I mean, we can definitely sell anything, right? Oh, these are little teddy bears. Huh. So, I mean, looks can be deceiving. So, I don't think we hit the jackpot. I mean, we're not done yet, but there's still so much to go through in the box. That's why I got it. Going to kind of try to hurry up a little bit here for sensitive ears. Let's see if there's any markings on this. Nope. Put in our costume pile. Hello, Colleen. Whoa. 
kind of thimble it is okay i wasn't going to share this but look there's like a little thimble in there why what is what does this mean we have another coin another half dollar set of coins just the quarter to my understanding it's just the quarter um, that's another bangle that can go on our costume pile what kind of membership oh yeah we actually showed you guys this yesterday and so that's pretty cool this little box i'm gonna set it to the side keep rolling right along bum, 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 bum. earrings cufflinks earrings i'm gonna say earrings we had this talk yesterday too in our storage unit older um earrings there let's see what we have we have another pin Precious and rare, very special and true. A friend to wear, always close to you. Guys, that's kind of creepy. Not going to lie. Because it looks like a little doll. I thought it was in, like an Indian, but it's like, it's like a doll. It's kind of creepy. Perfect for Halloween. All right. Ooh. Yes. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> there we go we got some knots here for you matching earrings unfortunately the necklace is really discolored and tarnished but still pretty pretty awesome love anything Irish boom look at those well, there's only one, unfortunately. They all look like clip on earrings, but there's only one. This is gorgeous. Oh, there's two. Oh my gosh, guys, there's two. How beautiful. I gotta set these to the side. They definitely are worth a Google search. <gasps> look at these. What are they? All right, if you know what these are, let me know, because I have no idea. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Wow, look at all, oh my goodness, how beautiful. <gasps> Camera probably is not doing these justice. Is there a marking on there? There is. Patent pending. <laughs> okay. Swank. There we go. Swank. Cufflinks. Whoa, look at this pin. There's a marking on there too. Let's see what it says. Okay, I literally have no idea what it says. Here you go. Maybe you guys can see it. Nope, you can't. Okay. Oh, there's two of them. No, we have a little pin and a baby pin. Oh, so sweet. Got this. Oh, it's definitely damaged a little bit because it's bent off to the side. I don't want to snap it. That is so pretty. I can't. Beautiful. Um, yes, whatever this is. Okay, I'm going to set that off. I'm just going to stick it all in costume. Again, I'd rather sell myself short than uh, act like, you know, we hit the big times. This box by itself is so awesome. You can tell it's definitely hand carved. Alright, so no price tag on these. Ugh. Earrings. Oh, it's like the little gingerbread man. And we have two of them. <laughs> so cool. Let's put them all back in here. Snowflakes. Woo. Wait, how many do we have? We have two different sets. Okay, so we got some pretty snowflake earrings. We have these little angels. Yep, there we go. We got two of those. Oh my goodness, if I could keep it centered for you guys. Oh, oh, oh. I love when it has like a little <laughs> dangly. Another Santa match. These are cool. They're like all the matches are in here. Oh, this is definitely a Christmas uh, bin here. Christmas pile. I'm just going to put everything back in there. Put it over there with my costume stuff. And let's keep going. 
Oh no, I can't open it. Ah, how do I open this, guys? <laughs> oh, it goes this way. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we have that. I don't know what that means. Oh no, did it break? There's a little clasp here, I believe. So, hold on. The fact that it's in this fancy case must mean something, right? I know we did, we showed these yesterday too, but again, it was cold, it was rainy. So when we got to the storage unit, the kids were sleeping. So it was like, okay, perfect. We actually have time to go through things. Notice the color difference too. Does that mean anything? I mean, this is more like a pink, but don't they all for like pink girls? So yeah, the kids were sleeping and we were like, oh good, we can record without worrying about the kids running around, you know, because priority is our babies, right? And then about halfway through, when we went through the jewelry box and I was like, I know the kids are a ticking time bomb. I just know it. I'm going to set these to the side because I actually want to Google this company. So, yeah, then, of course, <laughs> you're a mama, mama. <laughs> then we ran, and, of course, the two-year-old wakes up. So, I am I am a Methodist. That's cool. Little uh, church things here. This stuff written on the back. New York. Vatican. Sterling. This is Sterling. That's cool. And this goes with this. So maybe I'll keep this off to the side because this does belong in here. So it's set. So I don't want to stick it in with the silver and mess up um, where it should be. So these were really cool too. These we showed you guys yesterday in the actual storage unit video. These are really pretty. I'm going to assume this goes with it even though it's not etched on there. All right, this one's not in there. Go figure. Oh, they got me. All right, so this is just an empty box. I'm going to set that off there. This one has a price tag of $42. Look, sterling silver. They are pretty. These I'm definitely going to sell boop, like this, like a whole. I'm not going to worry about the weight of them or anything like that. So let's see. We got the price on this one is 42 again. Wow, I'm not sure why this little baggie's in there. I'm going to take that out because I don't feel like it goes in there. So, then we have these. Sterling silver monarch butterflies. These are awesome. 2003. So we have a D. 52 dollars oh for the matching necklace sterling silver this is too cute i'm hoping i thought there was maybe more of these i might be wrong thought maybe there was a hummingbird necklace but that might be what was in that other box that i do not have right now maybe we'll find it hopefully we find it Ooh, what do we have here Special little box. Oh, well, it's a class ring for Salem, Salem, New Jersey, representing. Just kidding. Um, let's see. Oh, it's so cool. Let's see. I got to bring up the eyeballs to read it. This is 10K. Whew. It's really hard to see, but in there... Oh, look. That's cool. In there, it says 10K. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in gold. I'm going to assume this is all real, like, without even having to look too far into it. Maybe not the bracelet. Oh, no, it's tangled. A little bangle here. This is such a small little bracelet. Is that what this is? Yeah. Wow. It's so old. And I wish I could get this off, but I cannot. <laughs> it's too tangled. Wow, the age on that. So I'm actually just going to set these off to the side. Some of these things I feel like I just need to Google before I assume. Brought out two boxes. So I have to keep leaning over. Oh, wow. oh, we have the other one to this. Remember, we found that one in the one bin. Which I do believe is right here. Oh, it's over there. Okay, yeah, so cool. So we have the other one, the matchy matchies. We have some twisty back earrings. 
So I'm actually going to take these out and put them into that wood carved box. Because that's where they belong. They belong with their family. And then I'm just going to double check to make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope. So this now box can go into my trash pile. Stay nice and organized. Boop. All right. So this one I struggled with. Uh, look, it looks like this was a $50 set. These are really pretty. And the backings are really small. So gold maybe? Gold maybe? Oh, no. Look, guys. Look. This is a whole thing here. So what do we have? We have 14K, it says. It was originally $50. So here you go again with the pearls, right? They're discolored. Does that mean something? And they're not perfectly shaped. So I know, like I said, I looked it up before. I Googled it to figure out how do you know if it's real or, you know, made in a, I don't want to say factory, but um, one of the things was like, I mean, aside from biting it, I'm not doing it because I won't know anyway. So there's no point in me even trying. It's like, I just think it's so interesting. There's like different colors. They're different shapes. I don't know. I if, if there's a class on like jewelry and identification, please let me know because I will gladly sign up. If you offer it, let us know in the comments because I definitely need to jump on board there. So I don't want to put that in costume jewelry because it's not technically like cheap costume. But I'm just going to stick it off to the side. All right. I'm trying to grab more than one here. Oh, nice. 90% silver. Boing. You know, yesterday I was singing Hamilton when I saw George Washington. I don't know why because it's supposed to be Thomas Jefferson coming home. But anyway. Yeah. So I don't know. I think the cold was getting to me. United States of America. In God we trust. Half dollar. And it's a beautiful case. Really beautiful case. That I'm putting on all backwards. That is so nice. I'm going to put that in our coin pile. Actually, I'm getting a little messed up here because I have my pearls. And the other thing I want to look up, I'm just going to set them to the right side. I only have so much space. Oh, poor Colleen, but everything's falling apart. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is heavy. What is this? Oh, the Silver War. Ooh. Let's see. Okay. So, yeah, you got that, guys. From a storage unit. I'm just going to put everything back. That's dumb. Why did I put it back that way? Just, okay. We'll figure it out later. Just purchase in New York, I guess. Okay. So, we'll just put that off to the side. I don't need any political comments. It's not what we're here for. United States Liberty Coin. Half dollar proof. 1986. Really nice. And we have this. This is really heavy. There's only one. Oh, this looks so old. Stainless steel blades. Uh, no markings on the actual case itself. I feel like there's something right here, but I can't really tell. Then we got this nice, like, chain with it. Really amazing. Oh, right here. Gold filled. Put that in the Google pile. Thank God for Google, guys. Thank the good Lord for Google. Of all things I'm thankful for, there's so many... And Google is honestly up there because it just makes our business so much easier to handle. It helps us not lose out on things. I mean, think about it. Google Maps. And then you have, like, the search engines. Wow, this necklace matches it. This is so small, too. Oh, How in the world do you go get a little teeny tiny picture in there, guys? This is so small. Like, this is my thumb. And <laughs> it's smaller than that. Ah. And it's got like that old style latch there. No markings on the chain. I'm going to assume it does go in here. So I'm going to keep that together too. I don't want to put it in the gold pile unless it blatantly says gold. Oh, we got stamp. Oh, no, not the picture. 
19, eight, oh, all pictures. Nope, get out of here. Take that back to the storage unit. We don't want them. Your, your family's lovely, but we don't care to see them. Because that's your personal stuff. I don't want anybody looking at my family. <laughs> New Jersey State Museum. Whoa. I'm going to be throwing stuff. Nice little, like, Victorian photo there. Nice. Don't worry, be happy. Alright, so this is just costume stuff in here, guys. I will put that off in our costume pile. Ready for this? We have more of these that match. There was a red set that we just found. Actually, I'm going to take them out of this box and put them in our wooden box over here just to keep everything together because it looks like we have so much more than we really do. What is this? What is this? Look at this little angel. Wow. Nice little costume piece there too. I kind of think that we call it costume jewelry because it's not... I don't know, that makes it sound like really fake. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's beautiful. It's for everyday wear. It's just not real silver or gold, so it doesn't get organized enough. Okay, we're more than halfway done, but there's still a good amount. Ooh, we look at that. Oh my god. Oh, we have like matching earrings with these. I don't mean to throw that one down, but we have like the matching. Earrings that go with this one. That is gorgeous. I can't. I love jewelry. I don't know anything about it, but I love it. What do we have here? Reed and Barton. It says October on it. I guess so. That's pretty. And we have this little guy down here. Uh, tarnished. Very tarnished. We've got like the pearl down there. Uh, smaller chain on that one. I don't see any markings. So yeah, I'm really pretty. Keep it all in there, but I'm going to stick it under costume for now. Ooh, got a little teeny tiny ring. Oh. Alright, bring it up to the eyeball so we can read inside. It says 18K on it. 18K in there. So I'm going to put it under gold because why not? I guess it's like a white gold maybe. Not something we come across too often. Usually it's silver. I know we have the earrings to match this. Look how old this is. Holy moly, look at that. Really neat looking. Very different. It's like hard. Yeah, that's that's different, guys. That's so neat. Cool. Put it. I'm gonna put it in that costume pile. And then yeah, you, know, you always want to check under there because you never know. Now, lots of jewelry boxes now. All right. So this one is in a nice older case. Look at the style. This is so neat. Has like a crown on the bottom of it there. Let's see if I see any markings here. Nothing here nor there. And we have this one down here. A little bit of uh, wear and tear down there. A little bit of tarnish off of the gold coloring. So I'll just put that back in there. It says cultured pearl, so I'm sure it goes to one of the necklaces, or no, maybe, hold on, wait, is this one stuck? Let's see, which one is actually in there? I wonder if this one belongs in there. So I'm just going to put it over there for now. Oh, try not to break anything in the process. A nice little ring box. Alright, so this is definitely costume. It has no weight to it. Costume. 
And this one, we have like that blue turquoise type style there. Buttons. And just the glass. Ooh, hoo, hoo, if I break anything, I'm going to cry. This is heavy. Look at this box. Oh my goodness. He's playing golf. <laughs> Little golfers. Uh, that's cool. Oh, the whole thing is golf. Wow, why did it take me so long to notice that? Look, golf clubs. Wow. <gasps> wow, guys. The stuff you find. What a nickel. Why? Marilyn. That's cool. We have a little angel there. She's cute. Christmas wishes. 1997. Gonna throw that in our pin pile. Oh, cute little costume ring. Another one of these type of rings. I'm gonna put our wooden nickels back in there. I think this box might be worth more than... Oh, made in Japan! Alright, let's set that off to the side. That's gonna be a Google thing. And if you have any questions about how anything turned out, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Because you know I respond almost immediately. As soon as I see your comments, I try to get back to you guys. Because it's just the right thing to do. So what we have GHT because how monogram works, right? First, second line. So there's like little it almost looks like ribbons in there. Like awareness ribbons is what it looks like. Very heavy. That's very oh, there we go. Elgin? Is that how you say it? I don't know guys. Got like its own pouch and all. Oh, um, whoa. Look at that bling bling. It's so shiny. I love the colors. It's like a brown. The chain to match. That is so nice. I love it. It's costume jewelry. But it is really nice. Oy, 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 oy. Another tangled mess. Okay, so. Wow, look at that. Hold on. It does something. Let's see. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Now it all makes sense. So it does say silver on it. That is amazing. I am very easily amazed. All right, so that's really cool. We have the stone necklace here. Again, big, uh, whoop, big uh, tangled mess here. Uh, yeah, so we got that. Whoa, look at this. It's got like, almost like a coin in there. Pretty light, considering. So I'm gonna say replica. We have a chain. Please be labeled, please be labeled, please be labeled. No, of course not. But look at the clasp here. This is so weird. Oh, get on there. It's hard to do through the camera. So we got that on there. We have a awesome little seashell with some gold painting. Oh, we got... Nope, I thought it was labeled. Really cool. And then you have these fabric beads, which I know we've seen before. That will definitely be something worth looking up for sure. Unfortunately, guys, it's just tangled. I, I don't mean to rush through it, but I'm going to put it in our costume pile just because it's so tangled, tangled up. I cannot believe we're not even done going through this stuff yet. Okay, here we go. Premier Designs. I don't think this is what's supposed to be in there because we've had stuff like from this company before. And it's not a big seller. It's, it's you know, it's costume jewelry. And this looks kind of fancier than other jewelry we've seen by this brand but let's see I'm gonna bring it up to the eyeballs I can't really tell what that marking is it's like shiny around it yeah guys I don't know about this one and there's nothing on the chain let's do the magnet test on this one yeah, there's definitely like a little bit of a pull to it, even with our weak, weak, weak magnet. 
Oh my gosh, my fingers are getting so dirty from touching all this laundry, or all this laundry, woo, all this jewelry. So disregard that. All right, emptiness. Nothing there. I'm gonna pull up four boxes this time. Ace Alaska. Oh, how nice. So now this is a thin, thin chain. And in my opinion, usually when the chain is super, super thin, it's probably real. I really want to untangle this so I can really check it out. Oh my goodness gracious. Half of this video is me trying to untangle things. Let's see. This is really pretty too, with oh, the leaf details in it, or detail, wow, it's like really well made. This is crazy good. Okay, so let's see if we can't just look at it like this, as is. Oh, we do have a marking. I believe that says, come on, focus for me. 14, yep, we got 14K on this. So we definitely want to untangle it because it needs to go into our gold pile. And I don't, oh, there's something on here. Some kind of marking on there. So that might need to get looked up. Let me just try to untangle these real fast. Eureka, I did it. All right, so I'm going to put this back on there. That way we don't lose anything. We don't want to lose the emblem. We're going to put that ma uh, grandma necklace into the one pile. So I can't see what this is, but because it's so thin, it feels like it could be real. I'm going to put it in my check it out later pile just to be careful and be sure. Nothing else in here. Let's always check everywhere just in case. Let's see. Ace Alaska, but I don't know what necklace would have gone into that box. So there's no point in holding on to that. Alex and Andy. Okay, so we actually had the information on one of these. Okay, so there's two. And they're, okay, I got you. This one goes here. Let's see. We had... Hi. No, there we go. We found it, guys. Ha, ha, ha. It's so nice when people hold on to, like, everything, and then it just kind of works. Made with love. Oh, and then we got our little, like, Irish one over here. Celtic like knots. Awesome. I'm just going to put it all back in this box because it all goes together. It's all from the same brand, Alex and Annie. Cool. This one's heavy. What's in here? Oh, man. Whew. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look how old it is. Japan. Oh, no. My poor fingers. <laughs> Definitely has, like, a texture to it. Oh, guys, look at that. It's so pretty. Reminds me of, like, a nest with eggs in it, like a bird nest. Wow, it's so heavy. So pretty. This lady liked her pearls. I don't blame her. I think they need to have a comeback. Oh, wow. Let's see. It says 12 karat gold filled. So I'm going to assume this does belong in this box. Yeah, so let's see if you guys can get to see it. That's really nice. All right, so I want to put it in my gold pile, but I want to also look it up. I'll, I'll just stick it in the gold for now. Not find as much silver as I saw. Usually, you know, when you, in my opinion, we find like a lot of silver when we do storage units. And just, like, in general, I feel like people typically have a lot of uh, silver jewelry. Wow. Look at that. This is the one Walt showed us yesterday, too. And he was like, wow. You can tell how old it is. Just the, like, the style, the texture. All right, let's look for markings. All right, no markings on that one. 
I don't even want to take anything out of this box because I feel like it's like, so special. Let's see. It says 14k on it. That would be such a shame to like take this out of there. This is cute. Let's see any markings on you. Something. Oh, I need a magnifying glass. Twelve. Twelve K on that. Again, like I don't know. How do you have the heart to pop them out? I guess when you're desperate for money or something, you'll do it, but I don't know. So I am gonna stick this in the gold pile. Even though half of it belongs to it's just a Timex thing, taking that out. Uh, the other half to the Timex box is going over there. This one we showed you guys yesterday too. You can look at that while I'm pulling more stuff out. Alright, so I'll set that off to the side. Nothing really fancy on that one. Look at this box. It's so old. How do we open it? Guys, I really can't open this box. Okay, there we go. Whew. Spoke too soon. Oh, it's got like two little hearts. Let me see it. Um, let's look for markings real quick. I don't see. Uh, do you see? Sterling! Okay, I talked all that smack about not finding any silver. And we finally got something that is sterling silver. At least the chain is. I don't see any markings on the actual um, charm here, but the chain at least is. So I'm going to put that in our... Um, hold on. I'm going to put that in our sterling... Look at this. What is this for? Sterling pile. Oh, cool. It's a cool box. I don't even want to, I want to hold on to everything, guys. Uh, what do we have here? So this is Precious Findings. Just because, believe, have faith, miracles do happen. I feel like some of you guys need to hear that. Just kidding. $39. And then what do we have here? Little angel lady. Whoa. This is neat. What's up, guys? Got a pin on the back. I'm gonna wear that. It's pretty big. Does this go with this? Check. Oh yeah, this might actually. Yep, she goes in here. What are the chances of us pulling out both things at the same time? Oh, help me! All right, so she's in there. Moving right along. We'll do that. We'll do this. All right. Well, this guy's. I showed you yesterday a little bit. Got some earrings in there. Some dangly ones. A bunch of dangly ones. Up at the top. Oh my goodness. A bunch of like things up here. Really cool. Really pretty. Got some sea turtles there. So that's about it. There's not really a whole lot on there. This one goes with it. But I have a earring pile over there. I'm going to add that to. Oogly doogly. All right. Little locket. Oh no, more tangles. Ooh, look at this design. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's one of those necklaces where they're all connected. So it should be too bad as long as I can. Okay. It is that bad. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I'll just show you this real quick. Ready? So pretty nice. I could just get this locket off of there, and then you guys would be able to see it. That's all right. So I'm just going to put these back in there. This is clearly costume. It's very large, very heavy. Alright, so in that box of jewelry, there's a scarf. 
And like another little ring holder there. Getting down to the very bottom. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't bump this out. A whole bunch of dangling earrings. I'm going to guess that 90% of these are, no, probably 100% of them are like costume. But look, that's so cool. It's so pretty. Hummingbirds. Oh, why can't I get this in the center? There we go. Hummingbirds. Red Robin. More. Look at this one. It's really nice. Okay, let's go. These are so pretty. I'm going to have to like match them up, clean them up. Oh, here. So I'm just going to leave everything in here because I don't want to lose pieces or ruin anything. Set that off to the side. Fix our little uh, presentation thing there. This is really heavy. Whew. Whoa. Really heavy. No idea what that material is. Pewter, maybe? No markings, no markings. Some uh, cranes on the side there. Whew, heavy. That is gorgeous. That is so pretty and fully intact too. Got some extra pieces there in case you need to repair anything. Really nice little leaf with the pearl details. Stretchy bracelet. I feel like almost like paper beads to be honest. Oh, we had the necklace to match this somewhere. I don't know if we found it here. Somewhere. I know what one to look these up to. Because he said other YouTubers say that they are worth pretty penny. No markings on this. But we have another rose pin. A rock. Oh, it's a spoon. <laughs> it's so funny. Let's see if there's a mark on there. A patent number. Just a patent number. Oh, is there two? Oh, yeah, serial date. Oh, there's two, and they're different um, handles. The handles are different. Cool. Another class ring. Where are we at? Salem High School again. We got another Salem. Ooh, -wee. there's no marking on there. Uh, oh, don't fall. Altrium? Is that how you say that? Oh. There you go. So there's that. I'm going to put it in silver. I don't know why it doesn't just say silver. So it must be something else. United States of America. We have this cute little pin here. A little heart. More of those uh, a little different stretchy custom jewelry. Another flower pin. Oh, this is pretty. Look at the glass beads. Wow, I love this so much. This is so cute. Definitely going to be costume, right? No markings. No markings. Really pretty. Aw, I like this. Drummer boy, if you will. We found the other one. I have no idea where I put it, but we have this one somewhere. We just discovered it. A little pineapple. There is a marking in there. Let's see what it says. I don't know, but I'm going to look it up. I'm going to Google it. This is cute. All right, put that in costume. Uh, another costume that look kind of like hearts. Pretty nice. But we're finding some really nice stuff. Some really pretty items. Not a whole lot of like silver and gold, but let's see. Where's my magnet? Yeah. Instant pool. Let's 
Okay, okay I think this is somebody's face. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna set that off to the side. On Lee again. Oh, prayers. Nice work. Oh my goodness, look like Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins, is that you? Yep, Walt Disney. Really cool. Really cool. Put that in the Google pile. And we have a dime. <laughs> this is also really nice because it is so heavy. I'm really curious what kind of material that is. Look, we got a marking here. I gotta put that on the floor because if it falls on my toes, I'm gonna be crying. All right, let's clean up for a second, get the lint and all the little crap up. All right, guys, this is the final stretch. This is it. This is everything that was on the bottom of the box. This is gorgeous. Look at this flower. I love it. We found ooh, two more coins. What is this one? Oh, wow. Let's look at this one closer. In God We Trust, $1. Wow. It's 1887. That's really cool. Then we have another half dollar um where is it i did find the other earring that we were looking for in the beginning of the video there's a couple of odds and endsy ones i think we found these hummingbird ones already so i'm gonna put all these in my little box over here with all these earrings what is this this is interesting thou shall not steal it says thou shall not steal but it looks like it's missing some pieces what is this? We have another Timex watch. I'm going to put that in my watch pile. I'm getting so uh, piled in here. I don't even know where my piles are. And then we have this cool little bracelet. A costume. Definitely costume stuff. Alright, for you coin. Alright, wait. That's not anything. That's worth anything. All right, so we have this one, $1 coin again. Put that over there. Nice little ring in here. So cute. Let's look for markings. There's no markings on this. I am truly surprised. So no markings, but it's a really pretty ring. Simply Gold, we got some Simply Gold 10K earrings. Gonna put them in our gold pile. Costume, little dolphins. A nice little bracelet with the stones. Very cool. Okay, so after whew, probably about 30 minutes worth of untangling, this is what I came up with in this last um, thing here. So I was saying about how, you know, we haven't really found much silver. That's a costume. But I did notice a couple pieces here. And this is a really thin chain. So I'm going to have to, yep. Project of Italy. What do we have on here marking wise? So we got silver here. Then our silver pile. Uh, I know one of these other ones. This one is silver here. It's got a nice marking. Easy to see, easy to read. Uh, let's see. Yep, something on here. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Um, what else? I believe this one. So they're untangling my poor little fingers. Got very tarnished. Uh, we got sterling here. Sterling silver. So that's nice. I wonder if this whole pile is. No, probably not. This feels too, too nice. All right, so that's going to be a costume. 
This is really pretty, guys. Really pretty. No marking on that. I'm just going to say costume. Better safe than sorry. This is silver. Nice silver chain. Not sure about the pendant itself. But, oh yeah, there's a marking in there. So we got silver there. Little tiny pile of silver. It's really nice. And then we have this. I believe we have matching earrings, but I do recall. And then we have this here. Little, uh... 3D thing there. It's like pretty cool looking. But costume, costume, costume. And our very last. Oh, wait. Okay, so we're ending on a low note. <laughs> the baby's awake now. So it's time to wrap this up, guys. This is it. This is all we got. This is really nice. Little uh, ceramic guy here. Glass. Porcelain. Not sure. Something breakable. Little deer. Cute little snowman. More deer. Some nail clippers. <laughs> All right. And just to recap real quick. Here are our finished piles. So we have some coins over here. We have a pile of pins. Here's our little gold pile. Remember there's little things in here. Whoa. Costume jewelry central. So these will get listed or sold as full pieces. And then we have a little bit of silver over here. This one I wasn't sure about. We'll have to look that up. There's a name in there. This one, no. But we got a little bit of silver. And over here, it looks like a hot mess. But this is my pile of stuff. I mean, there's empty boxes, which are trash. But things that I really want to Google and look up. Or these things I know I'm selling as whole pieces. So... That's it, guys. What do you think? I mean, now we got to go in depth of the jewelry box. What do you think? Do you think this unit was worth it, knowing how much of it was really just costume jewelry? Uh, remember, we spent about $300 on it, so was it worth it? Eh, I definitely think so. But let me know what you think. I mean, your opinion might be different. Thank you so much for sitting through. This is a long video, but it's totally worth it and very interesting and very cool. So thank you so much, guys. See y'all next time. Bye.